Well, time is 636, and today community leaders across North Alabama are spreading awareness about drug overdoses. And this morning, we want to welcome one of those leaders, Wendy Reeves from Partnership for a Drug-Free Community. So glad yeah. to have you with us on this Wednesday. Thanks. It's good to be here. We want to talk specifically about opioid-related overdose deaths. They continue to rise. Now, fentanyl continues plaguing our community. Is your organization overwhelmed right now? Um, yes, <laughs> in a short order. We have never seen anything like this in our community before with fentanyl. Um, we're seeing overdose deaths one every 72 hours and sometimes that's an average number that we're seeing but with four lives, it's not just a number, you know, that is a life that is connected to parents and siblings and friends and family. There are a lot of people in our community who are hurting because of this. I have a question related to fentanyl, uh, a little bit more broader, but uh, just recently we ran a story here on our morning show uh, where uh, folks were warning people not to even pick up dollar bills they see laying mm -hmm. around because people have used them to to snort fentanyl and they were saying that uh, even just that that contact skin to skin contact with that dollar bill could cause them to overdose what is different what is unique about fentanyl so it is 50 to 80 times more powerful than morphine and I can speak from a personal experience. My sister, before she passed away, she had a fentanyl patch that was prescribed from a doctor and everything. And they told us not to wear one pair of gloves, but to wear two, you know, that you cannot touch this mm. because it is that powerful. And if you want to put it in an even more clear perspective, three, if you think about three grains of sugar, that is enough to kill an adult person of fentanyl. That's how powerful it is. Goodness. So y'all are doing what you can to prevent these overdoses. You recently gave out fentanyl test strips. You're mm -hmm. still giving them out. Are people taking advantage of that? They are. Uh, we've given some away at community events. We have given most of them away. People have called our office. You know, we don't ask for anyone's name. We do collect a little bit of information just to determine how many to, to give out to each person. but. We're very pleased with the response that we've had so far. How common is it now that fentanyl is uh, being laced into other drugs and people don't necessarily know that they're getting fentanyl as part of what they intended to buy? And that's a great question because that's exactly what's happening with the overdose deaths. People don't know that they're ingesting fentanyl. Uh, it's even been found in marijuana, laced in marijuana. And that's what makes this such a dangerous thing that people need to be aware of. And that's why we're giving out the strips is because that way you can test and see exactly if there is any fentanyl in those drugs. Yeah. Heartbreaking situation to be in for sure. It is, but we thank you for everything that the partnership is yes, doing in our community. We know you'll have plenty of resources available and we'll have all of those resources on our website, waytv.com. Thank you so much, Wendy Reeves, for joining us this morning. Yes. Thank you guys as well. Have a good day.